Hey everybody. So we know that our backs are foundational. They're a, a very important in our physical structure. It allows us to move, to stand, to sit, to do sports, to do different activities. All of it is really tied into this incredible spinal system and our backs and all the muscles and everything that's attached to it. So having a strong back is really important from, uh, for a lot of reasons. It also happens to be a place that we store a lot of emotions in our muscles. Our muscles have muscle memory. And so any kind of trauma or fears or any of that can often be stored in our lower backs or also in our upper backs, sort of the stress and the anxiety and whatever it is that you might be carrying from your day. Do you ever feel that? Like, oh, I just feel like I let, let down a load of weight, right? It's just releasing that, but we carry it and hold it in our backs and that can set us off balance. It can um, make us structurally not as um, aligned. And so working at it from both an emotional and a physical place is really key to having the strongest possible foundation so that we can go out and embrace all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. And that is what we're gonna work on today. You ready? Okay, so we are going to do some back exercises to work on the physical and the emotional. So let's put our feet hip width apart, bend your knees slightly. We're going to hinge at the hip. If you have tight hamstrings, like me, you can bend them a little bit more. <laughs> um, but keeping your back as straight as you can. Your hands just lightly behind your head, or I like to sometimes keep them right by my ears. Don't tug at the neck. Keeping your back strong, straight. We're going to release down to your knees, trying to keep your stomach on your uh, thighs, and release up to flat back. And going down, trying to keep your back as straight as possible. So, now, as we're doing this, I want you to take a look at what might be some things, fears, anger, tension, anxiety, that you're holding on to, that you're keeping stored in your muscle memory or weighing your back down with. Maybe it's a relationship or family thing. Maybe it's a health or financial. Maybe it's some past trauma. What is it that might be weighing you down? Two more. Don't judge it. You don't have to engage with it. Just notice it. Last one. Excellent. And then coming up, and we're gonna do one more. Keeping your feet in that same sort of hip width place. Knees slightly bent. Once again, hinging at the hips. Keeping your arms straight down. We're going to lift one up at a time. So, if you were to take some actions to build the foundation around whatever might be creating a little bit of angst or pain in your life, what might you do to strengthen your position, physically and emotionally? <laughs> so, perhaps it's having a difficult conversation or resolve some tensions. Maybe if it's financial, it's make a financial plan and stick to it. <laughs> Maybe if it's health related or a trauma related. Maybe it's something where you do need some outside help or guidance. So really take a look. What might you do to sort of get your marching orders on? <laughs> One last set and final. And then just release and roll it up. 
I know that you're starting to take a look at releasing whatever emotional things you might be hanging on to in your back, in your structure, in your foundation, and taking steps to both physically and emotionally strengthen it. So with that, take all your newfound strength <laughs> and foundational grounding. Go out in the world. <laughs>